Hey Melissa, this is Brian at G-Force. You got your motor all tore down, I wanted to go over it with you real quick. So the noise that you were hearing was the main bearing for this rod here. It's pretty much gone, as you can see the discoloration here. Um, all that bearing is now down in your uh, crankcase here. That, that All that brass coloring is the bearing itself. Uh, the main reason for that was that uh, this oil pressure relief valve that goes in the, the top of your case here, down in this hole, it goes down in here and seals that hole, which creates oil pressure to loop uh, the motor. There's, there's a spring missing. That's all I had from that system was uh, this cap that, that goes on top and the pin that goes down in there. There's supposed to be a crush washer and a spring that holds it in place. Um, so you're basically getting no zero oil pressure to your system because as the motor started up and oil started pushing through, it had no resistance from the spring and would just push that check, check ball up. So the good thing is that your uh, cam carrier here isn't scarred up so we won't have to replace the cases um, we will want to replace your cams as they have some uh, wear on the lobes there we'll also want to do the bearings for the balancer shaft and the crankshaft main bearing as they have some wear to them as well um, the cylinders also have some uh, scarring to them from not having enough lubrication while uh, this was going up and down. So we'll want to replace the pistons, the cylinders, the cans, the bearings, the crank, and then get the missing parts. Uh, the spring and the crush washer for that oil check relief and then your water pump mechanical seal and the oil seal behind it will need to be replaced to fix your coolant leak. So after we get all that taken care of it should run like new again. Uh, let us know what you want to do. Thank you.